part like that. Before. We are going to start the stream fighting. I think it Buggy started already. already. The stream already started, started you guys. <laughs> Buggy, the only reason Buggy is in this is because Oda's obsessed with his dumb clown creation. And me! And me! No, he's amazing! That's not why. He, he won't it. stop falling it, up. He's like amazing. <laughs> Buggy sucks. Hey, we're live, guys. Just Buggy sucks. Let you know. <laughs> Never Buggy mind sucks. us. We're just, um, you know. Hey, what's I'm up? Sorry. Straw hats and all that people. stuff. Uh, we're here finally to talk some One Piece on the channel. And uh, guys, I mean, you kind of see how it's uh, it's going to work here. It's just going to be complete chaos. Zen uh, it's going to be very <laughs> short. Buggy is trash. Thanks, subject, because we're only talking about volume one today. Uh, which is Romance Dawn, but it's going to kind of be like an introductory episode. going to go around the horn real, real fast and uh, introduce the crew. If you guys know anything about One Piece and YouTube at all, I don't think it really needs an introduction, but the first lady of book two, Murphy, thank you so much for coming back to the channel to talk about this. Thank you. I'm Buggy for Pirate King is my new tagline. Just throwing that out there. Thank you for I agree. Me. And we all know him. He's uh, he's the guy that you want. Everybody's a little bit of a madman on their pirate crew, so that's why I invited uh, Arabasta Allen. No, Admiral Allen. Admiral Maybe. Allen, because Allen. the admirals. Well, I mean, anyway, I'm an I'm a um, an Akainu apologist, so we'll get there later. Um, also, thank you for reminding me that Murphy is of a different social class than I am, and is actually part of the ruling class. And I am a mere serf that is allowed out of my work in the fields to come and join um, this uh, discussion with my meager pea brain surf like thoughts. Thanks for having <laughs> me. Oh, we're glad to have you. And uh, Philip, uh, this is going to be interesting because I have no idea where you're going to stand on this one, but I'm excited you finally started this because I've been wanting to talk to you about it. I was like, quit reading all those mangas nobody's ever heard of, and why don't you go ahead and read this one, the one that everybody's been pushing me forever <laughs> to read, to because I'm ready to talk to you about it. So Philip, welcome, Amigo. Are you excited to talk about this today? I am excited to be here with this crew, this pirate crew. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for all the, uh, the mind-blowing insights and the fun. Uh, and just excited, you know, to be here with uh, Captain Murphy. And uh, I feel like uh, Alan is probably our, our trusty but somewhat eccentric uh, navigator. And uh, no, I, Admiral is, no, his name no I am the Admiral tr seeking you out to destroy you in the name of justice. <laughs> so enjoy my cannonballs of righteousness. Uh oh. Okay. I, I was thinking. I'm um, unranked for the time being. I'm, I'm well, neutral. Master Gunner, Mike could be Mike. You should have the cannonballs. You yeah, have the level head. Have Master Gunner. That's why I should. Master I should Gunner have Mike. Mythical Zone, Mike. I think Master Gunner, Mike. That actually works pretty good. Don't be I the like Gunner. It. They're trying to rope you into being an Usopp. Don't do it. <laughs> you know, Don't the thing funny about this is my youngest kid all the time he'll scream. Nobody likes Usopp. It's because Usopp sucks. If he well, didn't Usopp suck, didn't hear you. Would but, like you know. <laughs> let Philip meet him first. Right, but don't let him set these expectations for you here. Look, okay, so I, I thought the, the best the idea for this, since this is our first episode, just kind of talk about how everyone kind of discovered the series. Uh, Billy Phillip obviously are late to this. Uh, Alan, I believe you've only watched the, the, uh, the anime, not actually read the manga, correct? Correct. I am an old school One Piece sage from the ages. I, I came into One Piece in like college, like 2004, I think, maybe. I, I forget when it was, but I came home for the weekend, and um, some of my friends were in town, and a girl that I was trying to chat up uh, was hanging out also. And so I was there, and we they ended up talking about One Piece. And they're like, Alan, you would like this, because pirates. I'm like, please, go on. <laughs> and then they showed me Smoker, and I was like, that is my favorite thing, and I have not even watched this yet. And then I started watching it and I was hooked and I've watched it and I've fallen off where there's like a year or two where I don't watch it and then I catch up and don't watch it. But I only watch the anime. And actually now that I'm manga only, I, I like, I, like I've been telling Murphy and Philip, I don't really enjoy manga. Um, I don't, I don't get the same. I don't get the same from it that everybody else does. So I always watch an anime if there's an anime um, that accompanies the manga. Because reading One Piece where I am and just the fractured nature of an issue every whenever Oda decides to put that issue out, I'm just like, this is such a broken up experience that lacks music or, I don't know, movement. And so it's just hard for me to follow what's going on sometimes. Things don't hit as hard when there's no voice acting and things for me. So I just don't like manga in general. It has nothing to do with the One Piece manga. So I've watched all of the episodes of the anime, but I am not caught up. 
because I got caught up, then read the manga, and then the anime proceeded, and I am not yet caught up again with the anime. Yeah, my, my, my youngster did it the same way. He's watching just the anime. I gave him these. He read like the first one. He's like, nah, I can't do the right to left thing. And so he, said, he said he's going to do just the, the anime. The problem is, is the Japanese voice actors are so good. They're just so good that I, I love them. I love them. See, so. he watches it dubbed, and those voices are, well, they in are. my opinion, they're not for me. The I'm a voices. pirate. We're going to win the power of friendship. Come on, crew. <laughs> So yeah, Murphy, the, how did you stumble upon this treasure trove of a uh, of a manga here? How did this all happen for you? I snuck into my house and stole it. That's it. That's what it was. I, I looked over Alan's shoulder to see what he loves that I could take from him, and I was like, "My dad." <laughs> Basically, you know, actually, before I did this, before. I did see the little stuffed animal of uh, Luffy that Alan had on his shelf way back before anybody knew it. They talked to me about this at all before I knew what it was. I was thank was you, my Mike. Place. Thank you. Yeah. Mike, Mike rolls out the appropriate amount of kudos to me. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. You got it, A bro. gentleman and a scholar. I will also note that Alan uh, watched this with friends instead of with the internet. So he has a unique experience to the rest of us because all of his opinions are informed by personal experience and not by the internet saying, no, that's wrong. Wait, did you notice this? What about that? Like, th 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 there's not hundreds of people over his shoulder commenting. So it's like he's he's got a different experience. Um, anyway, I I uh, had a lot of people recommending me try manga, try manga. You, you're gonna like it too. It's the storytelling in manga is great as well. Commenters on my channel, and I tried several series, and I just really struggled. Um, and then I had one very persistent commenter just telling me over and over again to read One Piece, and I didn't know anything about it other than pirates, much like Alan. Uh, I didn't even know how long it was. <laughs> I just picked it up because I was like, okay, yeah, this one commenter really wants me to read it. And uh, it took me it took me a bit. I mean, I liked it from the start, but it took me a bit to get fully hooked. But once I got fully hooked, it became a personality trait of mine. That's pretty good. Philip, how did you stumble upon this? I blame Murphy, actually. I mean, uh, about a year. Summer of 2022, I think I had Murphy on for Dear Doctor Fantasy, and we had a really wonderful chat. And we talked about manga, and I was like, "Well, I don't really know anything about it." And so she was like, "Well, you know." And we just sort of decided right then and there to read some manga together, and uh, we got through some really cool ones that I loved: Vinland Saga and Vagabond, and and all this time I knew that Murphy was crazy about this thing, One Piece, and of course I I'm not completely a hermit so i do hear people talking about one piece and all the excitement and as we were reading the manga i was a little bit scared about trying something like one piece because honestly if there's one thing that has not landed with me so far in reading the manga it's been the humor and i i feel like just from just superficially looking from outside it looks like this is really all about the humor so i was really nervous that i would not <laughs> enjoy one piece because i'm thinking Am I just too old? Am I too like, you know, stodgy? Am I too stiff to enjoy this uh, kind of humor? Is it cultural? You know, is it just, I don't, it, you know, cause humor is one of the hardest things to translate, you know, from one culture to another. So I was just wondering, am I gonna like this at all? Uh, so um, that's what uh, we're about to find out, uh, I guess. Uh, Ooh, I mean- Pins and needles, pins and needles. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Set yeah. up, set them up. Fill up. Everyone talks about how funny this is. And when they read the manga, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I find it amusing, but that is because the voice actors are acting and saying things in amusing ways that make me laugh. Um, I'm not sure if I read the manga that I would find it as... Philip, we already talked about this. Everybody's opinion on One Piece is overblown in every way. So if you heard... <laughs> like, it's just like it's, like, it's funny, but it's not the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. And it's good, but... It, I, why do I have to be the voice of reason? Why can't I be the fan? I don't know, boy? Alan. Just lean into your love for it. All I want to do is be the fanboy, but everybody's unreasonable. So I have to come in here and be like, hey, guys, what if we were reasonable? Like, let's 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 tone it down. And at least he's going to keep us grounded, guys. Let me be the fanboy. Murphy okay. hates something, so I can like it a lot. Okay. Luffy sucks. Go ahead. <laughs> well, me, it was, uh, I think me and Murphy were messaging a while back as I was doing, I was covering Berserk. And I had told some people that I was probably not going to do One Piece just because people that I trusted had told me, that's not something you're going to like, Mike. 
So I just I trusted him on that, and I got completely savaged by the fan base for it. And so I had a bad first experience, but uh, yeah, then uh, people kept persisting, kept pers- persisting, and I said, I never say never. And so I guess they took this opportunity and they did send me a bunch of One Piece, and my kid wanted to watch the Netflix show that was coming out, so I said, I want to go ahead and read this first. And uh, yeah, it's been a great bonding experience, and um, yeah, they were wrong. I like it quite a bit, quite a bit. So, not as exciting a story as everyone else, but uh, look. Yeah. And everyone, bring on the booze. I, I'll accept y'all's booze. I am ready. Just launch. I think I'm being party. booed for saying Luffy sucks. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm I'm ready for my booze because I I, <laughs> see, I have strong opinions on what sucks and what doesn't. There All we right. go. There we go. All right, so uh, we are going to be doing romance on first seven chapters here. Uh, I had to actually go back and make sure I knew where this ended. So, guys, please be gentle. Phillips only read the first volume here. You know, he's got 106 to go. I've only read through Arabasta, chapters, you know, so seven you know, chapters. take it easy with the spoilers in there. Philip says that, you know, they bounce off of them like the rubber band, man, but don't no, just sh- sh- be kind, be kind. So uh, I guess with me, I, I like this arc just because I'm the big coming of age guy here. And this is what you get is Luffy's kind of coming of age up to where he gets his hat. And I just think that stuff is just oh. awesome. But uh, I, I think we're all so anxious to know what Philip's going to say. Philip, dive on in, buddy. What'd you like about this first little arc? What'd you hate movie? about it? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. So here's the big reveal. I actually loved it. It was fun. Oh, great. Uh, it was a lot Damn! of fun. <laughs> look at Alan. Just look at disappointment. <laughs> it was actually fun. It reminded me of reading Asterix when I was a kid. Uh, do you guys know Asterix? I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I don't. Mm-hmm. So there, for me, the Gaul all the time. Growing up, one of the funniest comics that I loved was Asterix the Gaul. Uh, it's uh, originally Belgian. Um, but the kind of humor you get, there's a lot of wordplay, uh, but it's a lot of over the top kind of stuff, uh, which is, you know, when I read this and I saw this kid, I guess his name is Monkey. Uh, Monkey. His name is Luffy. Monkey says, his name is Monkey I'm Luffy. Call him Monkey forever. That's not his first in Japan. That's his name. Japan. Like Yao Ming. His name wasn't no, Yao. His <laughs> It's Japanese. Like monkey is his is his family his name. Surname. It's his surname. Oh, Luffy is his why did, okay, so it said monkey. It says Luffy, by the way, not Luffy. But okay. I oh, agree. I called him all Luffy. Over. Like, it's not Luffy. Yeah, it's Luffy. I called him Luffy at first too. I called him Luffy for the first year because that two Fs is a short U. I'm sorry. Yeah, it should be Luffy. I agree. Completely all agree. Right. Because but anyway, I thought it was Luffy. Christina, can you floof my pillow, please? <laughs> <laughs> floof his pillow. <laughs> so anyway, you, you meet this kid, and he freaking stabs himself in the face to show how tough he is. And that in itself, I thought, was just over the top. But then it was the reaction of the pirates that had me just giggling because uh, they're all like, ah, because <laughs> they didn't think he was going to do it. So immediately you realize what an over the top kid this is. Like he is just crazy. Uh, he's like very focused. That's I guess a nice way to put it. Very focused on becoming a pirate. Uh, so I actually thought this was very endearing. I, I, I enjoyed these seven volumes. I liked the setup with um, Captain, uh, what was his name? Uh, the guy, Luffy's Shanks. hero. Captain. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I Shanks. love Shanks. Okay. I like that guy a lot. Um, and I like the contrast between what Luffy thinks pirates are and what Captain Shanks is trying to teach him. You know, that was really cool. And I feel like Captain Shanks better come up again a whole bunch in the series, I hope, because I really enjoyed his role. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope he comes up again. Uh, and the hat is like such a cool little symbol yeah. there because he hero, he hero worships this guy. Until he thinks he's a coward, but then he hero worships him again later on, which I'm sure we'll talk about. Um, but I don't think uh, Luffy has quite absorbed the wisdom that Shanks had there, so he's got to he's got to wear that hat for a while to let that sink in a little bit. I think. Little, so, can I be honest with you about something? When I started this, I had no idea that there was a rubber band man kind of thing, and I had no. I, I didn't thought know either. The whole dum thing was like. Oh, that, what? that completely. I was like, oh, this isn't what I was expecting at all. So the whole double right. fruit thing completely caught me off guard. But I mean, I love it. I love it. But I think going going into this, I thought it was just going to be just pirates. You know, I had no idea it was going to be this strange. Yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I love it. I love that. I love just that I, I don't know what's going to happen on the next page. And, mm. it, and it's wacky and it's crazy in a good way. Sometimes with storytelling, there's just a kind of magic that happens. And I have to think there's something about the series for so many people to love it so much. And I'm glad that when I, I started this, at least I felt like there's a, there's a magic to this storytelling. It's just fun and it's over the top and it's, it made me laugh quite a few times. So mm. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah. So Philip, do you remember when I was talking, I don't, when I talked to you, you asked about monster, how I love the monster anime because a guy goes, Dr. Denma. Like I love the voices and the same thing with, with Luffy in that the, the um, they call him straw hat. A bunch of people call like all of his enemies straw call hat. him straw hat or yeah. sh like straw hat Luffy. And so they're always saying Mugiwara no Luffy. And it makes me happy every time a villain says, Mugiwara no Luffy. Everyone calls him <laughs> Mugiwara. <laughs> they just call him Straw Hat. Mugiwara, which pleases me. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Mugiwara no, I, I didn't know what the Straw Hat, I didn't know what the hat was all about. Obviously, I've seen pictures of this. It's unavoidable if you're, mm. you know, on the internet at all, I think. Uh, one piece of that. But um, yeah, now I, I get the hat. And I feel like I'm I'm just getting uh, my first glimpse into why people love this series. It gets caught in fire. It's totally fine. Made a strong. Oh, I'm sure that hat will go through the ringer. Yeah. Just survive. I was thinking it was going to be like Indiana Jones. Luffy will get the hell beat up with the hat. It'll always be okay. That's right. This series does not require real world physics or logic for anything. Please don't do. Yeah, pretty much the that can never happen. Just don't with this series. Just don't do that. <laughs> it's not that kind of series. Definitely not. Mugiwara. What about you, uh, Mike? I know we're on your channel, but mm -hmm. do you have any? I mean, you're further along than this, but do you what what were your first impressions of it? Uh, honestly, I think when I was reading this first volume, I'm just going through it right now. I'm remembering it's like the interludes in between the chapters is the little pictures he has like luffy drinking a drink with a dolphin and stuff and i was like what the fuck am i reading right now you know so it was kind of getting into it that was just kind of like i said all i'd read was vinland saga and berserk you know really adult stuff so when i got to this it's like okay this is different but i did go into it with open mind i said basically i could deal with the over the top stuff as long as i was having a good time and I felt like the character growth was good. Now there's not, a, I mean, there's obviously some for Luffy, but I think what I realized really early on is that Oded is really good at doing character backstories. Uh -huh. And that's something that I feel like hasn't changed where I'm at right now. Like, it isn't just the main cast. I'll meet some character off in the background. All of a sudden he'll give me their backstory. I'm like, wow, I want to follow that character now. So yeah. I think it's really evident really early on. I think that's what hooked me in because for me, the end of all things, it's all about characters for me. And so if you give me a lot of depth and background of these characters, I'll be all in. And yeah, getting Luffy's right off the bat was, was really nice. We also got, um, now I have to ask, because you brought up backstory and the one that we got too was, was uh, is it Zoro or Zolo? Because it's Zoro. Zoro. Can we get Zoro's in Zoro? this? Yeah. For the yeah. love of humanity, it's Zoro. What did you okay, think of Zoro's backstory? It said Zolo in the, in the it says, Zoro. dude, I'm like, I'm on like volume 30. It still says Zolo, damn it. It, it says it all the way through. <laughs> it will it's, forever. It's wrong. It's Zoro. It's, it's Zoro. Yes, because okay. Zolo is stupid. Wait, but why is this? Like is this something like? A, is this a Japanese oh, thing? Where the, the L and Japanese R, or... R sound, the the ra ri ru re yeah. ro, they do not make that sound. So it's halfway between an R and an L. So when you are localizing or translating, you can go with the R or the L. But the R, like in, it's not alabasta. It's more likely to be arabasta. And Zoro is it's just more it's just more correct like so you're saying that zolo is not wrong that, that's what i heard you no say. zolo is wrong it's a, i mean <laughs> zolo is, you can do zolo but that's a stupid well, make a video and call him zolo and let me know how it goes it's, it's a stupid <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right i'm stupid. taking your word for it you're the navigator here alan so but I'm the problem is marco zoro zoro the cape dude has two r's so trying to spell the same Oh, so it should be Zoro. But I feel like okay, but he's Zoro and he's like the greatest swordsman in the world. So come on, I mean, no, he wants you... to. Be. He wants to be. That's his dream. Him. Okay, fine, but what was that so... face? You I have met no one so far. No one. Oh, I loved it. He just dissed Zoro. No, I didn't. <laughs> I love Zoro, but I. Liked I'm it. just saying that is it not an obvious nod to Zoro, the yeah. the original Zoro? 
Yeah. No, because Zoro is a bandito with a rapier. This is a guy with three he's swords. He's also got a hat. Mouth. He's got a How hat. do you feel about three sword style? Yeah, he also oh, kind of puts the bandana a on, I guess. He's got a bandana. <laughs> yeah. Santoru. That's so, Zoro. So what would you say your feelings are about three sword style? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was that cracked me up when he's like three sword. I was like, wait, what's he? What's he gonna do with the third sword? I was like, he's, he's just gonna bite it mouth the whole time. He's holding it in his mouth. Like I thought that was just so cool. I, I loved it. it and he great. talks around it. He's got it in his mouth and he's like having conversations. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm just so stupid. I can't help laughing. It's so stupid. <laughs> do you, but do you I like? Mean, did you like his backstory? Yes, I really did. Yeah, I mean, really the did. idea that uh, he refused to accept that he was going to inevitably inevitably become better than uh, his friend. I can't yeah. remember her name. I'm sorry. Um, but she's the uh, daughter Quina, of... I think. Yeah, Quina. Yeah. He, he refused to accept, no, I don't want to become better than you because of some stupid, you know, like, because people say girls are weaker than boys and all that. I, I, I want to earn this, you know? And so they made this pact. And then I don't totally buy, oops, sorry. I don't totally buy the idea that she fell down the stairs. I feel like there's got to be something more to that, that he's going to find out later or something. I, or just, is that it? I don't that know. That seemed really weird. Oh, yeah, she just she just died, dude. She fell down some steps. Like the next I day, she fell down the steps. What? It's odd. It's an odd storytelling choice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was looking for something there. It's uh, a shonen manga. I don't know if it's like fate, you know? Like you don't, you, you have a dream, you have a goal, but you don't always know that you have tomorrow. I don't I honestly don't know. It's That's just a weird manga. choice. You, you, your rival cannot, you're like your rival from when you were a child can't be alive. They have to be dead or they have to be super powered like you. Like they can't just be there. You can't just leave. No, I, I think she's dead, but I felt like something more sinister must have happened to her than just falling down the you've stairs. Been, you've been reading too much fantasy. Like <laughs> Okay, but okay, here you have this, this young lady who is extremely dexterous, right? Who's like the best swords person around beats everybody else. She's got to have some real good dexterity there. And she falls down the stairs? Huh? There's I mean, Lucy with the dolphin. She's, I mean, she's a, she, she's, a, she's a teen. She's a kid. Like, kids trip. Yeah. Philip, quit being unreasonable. Yeah, Philip, not everyone has your amazing dexterity and battle. Hater in the chat. <laughs> what about Roger? The is that his name? The the king of the pirates. Okay, that's a great question, Philip. I want to get you on record now before you and I both get too far this journey. Yeah. What if the one piece is just the friends we made along the way? That okay, I was just gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna call it, I was gonna say, Mike, you won't believe this, but I was gonna say the treasure, the one piece, whatever it is, is gonna be worth nothing at the end. It cannot be because people will literally yeah. murder him in his bed. Oda has also. <laughs> He has confirmed that it's an object. It's not that. That is because. But what Philip said, he didn't say it didn't exist. He said it's going to be worthless. Yeah. I mean, no, no monetary like a, 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 a pinky ring or something that you got to have a bubble gum machine somewhere. It <laughs> there is only one thing it could be that I will be happy with. Everything what? else will. You want me to spoil? No, let's not say this. Yeah. Like yeah. on. Spoil the ending. Do you know for a fact what it is? You don't know the ending, do you? It's not written. Percy, yet. If I knew what the ending was for a fact, I would lord it over everyone I knew and extort large sums of money. Text from me what them. you think it is or what you want it to be. I, I think oh, there we go, Philip. Maybe maybe she fell down the stairs is actually she just didn't know her for she didn't know oh. she didn't that she get rid of her. Fall on that, that is a uh, that is a really um, highly debated theory. Some people will die on that hill. Some people super duper hate the hill and say that's absolutely not. People that who want them, so. well, I, mean, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, just for, okay. So I've read like what now five manga, and suicide has come up, and I think in every single one of them, um, it just seems like it's a trope almost in in manga. Am I wrong? Is come that? On, there is there is so much in this manga so long and so many other things we could be that people could be like debating rather than what happened to Kuina. Alan, like, what's the what's the the Japanese word for falling on your sword? Nice. Seppuku. Seppuku? Thanks. I'm reading yeah. Shogun right Alan, now. Seppuku. Alan, don't demonstrate, please. Yeah, I'm don't demonstrate my third one. I've done it before. It hurts my teeth so bad. 
<laughs> Wait, you're going to demonstrate the three sword method? I'm trying if I can find a third sword. Oh, wow. Sun called you. Seppuku is there. Is, Seppuku is talked about several times in the series, so I think if she did actually shot, yeah, Seppuku battling? would probably yeah, be. Read Shogun. They only say Seppuku about four thousand times every chapter. Yeah. Mike, you have to ask permission to commit Seppuku and restore That's your true. lost honor. That's true, and you, you're almost always going to be denied permission. Almost oh, one hundred percent. Look, you jaywalked today, Seppuku. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, late Shogun is really, really good though. It's really good. All right. Where were we? Whoa. Okay. Uh, what did you think of the scene with the sea beast? Oh, so good. No, it's just an arm, dude. I was like, what the? F this guy. Uh, oh, man. I thought you were saying it's just it's wish... not that impressive. He's got. No, I just I felt like, man, I wish I could be this guy. I wish I could be this selfless. That's just an amazing, amazing art. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. He just basically told the sea beast to piss off. You know, it's pretty good. Which I'm sure will get revealed later on, uh, you know, how he actually does these things. Yeah, but, how did he do that? Yeah, I mean, how did we need to find out, Philip. Oh, I assume one of those. I haven't figured this out yet. I've still, I still haven't seen a ton of them where I'm at, so huh. Yeah, Captain Shanks is way too gold hearted to be a pirate, but uh, but in this reckon world, so? yeah. I mean, uh, I mean oh, maybe okay, that's just when okay. the camera's on him. Maybe when the camera ain't on him, maybe he's a mean mofo. You know, the know. scene where there's a gun aimed at him and he's like, "Yeah, I wouldn't do that." Yeah. And then his his pal shoots, shoots the, the guy. guy. Yeah, no hesitation. Like we are not making threats today. We are executing. Yeah, that was piratical. I will say that was piratical. piratical. All right. Yeah. Where has Alan gone to get a, a third sword? Hey, you know what I didn't know until uh, well, I guess I guess I shouldn't say that. Philip ain't there. There is a character in the series, a main character in the series, whose dad is in Shanks' crew. Correct? Am I correct on that? Yeah, that was really cool. That's a really cool connection. Oh, okay. I see. We man, they don't get anywhere in this. <laughs> oh man. Well, we haven't talked about Captain Morgan and um, Al Alvida. Is that like the rum? Yeah. So chapter two, to me, chapter two is a, like a little bit rough. Oh, my God. He found one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now fight an entire battle like that without slicing your arm off. Sure, 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 sure. Dude, I couldn't fight with one sword without Alan, please, myself. please do not cut your tongue off. Well, he's got it by the hilt. I mean, Zoro never. Yeah, but it. a real swordsman would turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, no, stop the dog! <laughs> you guys, this is this is the entertainment I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, Zoro did uh, um, kill that dog that was attacking the little girl. You better believe he did. Oh, you like it where he eats the rice bowls out of the dirt? That was nice. You know, did he do that because he was starving or did he do it because he didn't want the little girl to feel it? Yeah. Her. Yeah. I think a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. You know, he and he was like, tell, tell her that it tasted good. You know, he was yeah. like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it was uh, disgusting. It was spat out another man's mouth and then grounded to the dirt. Yeah. And he wanted her specifically to know this was delicious. And he ate it like a man. He ate it like a man. Yeah. yeah. That's Z Zorro. And it made her so happy. It was so delicious. Yeah. yeah, see, he's got a bandana on his head. He's just like the other That's Zorro. It's not a hat. It's a thing. It's a thing. Right? It's a thing. Yeah. It's a head dressing. That's what Zorro wears. And he wears a hat over it. Zorro is most known for his hat, the fact that he puts C on things and with sword. Right here, and a cape. I don't see no cape on Zoro. He left it at home. You guys have anything to say about Captain Morgan and his idiots? El Mepo is the best. Murphy, that's just objectively not true. Wow. Everyone can't be the best. I was about to say, did I miss something? <laughs> you know He's what, Murphy, such a good boy. He's just misunderstood. Go ahead and give your child El Mepo's haircut, and we'll talk about how much. Also, the best okay, in addition to the haircut. If you want your kid to grow up being a tough guy like you, do you name him Helmeppo? I mean, yeah. no, no, Helmepo is no. Great I mean, name, no. great haircut, great legacy, good boy. 
How much? I have to say, I was surprised. I thought that Kobe for sure was going to join the crew. He's like, hey, I need a navigator. He's like, hey, yeah. I know how to get my way around the ocean. Like, hey, yeah. this makes sense. So I was actually. Why didn't Kobe join that. the crew? So because he's a whiny little baby. Prediction so time. Meppo, you said he's the best. He's. <laughs> I wasn't being honest. Kobe's dream, Kobe's dream is to be a Marine. Okay. So if it's his dream to be a Marine, then I feel like he's got to come up later in the series. And he and and uh, Luffy are going to be like antagonists. Dream. They have to be antagonists if he's going to be a Marine and Luffy's going to be a pirate, right? They Friendship certainly are fighting on different sides. Dreams. Yeah. That's Kobe inevitable. Sucks. Kobe sucks. What? Kobe sucks, Philip. You heard me. Why? What, he's, why pretty, he's, he's, he's pretty annoying. He just stands yes. there and goes, uh, why am I not brave? You why guys are I'm just like bullies, like Alvita. No, like Luffy. You know how he just hits him because he's being hysterical? That makes me so happy when Luffy just punches Kobe right in the face. I thought Kobe punched <laughs> Luffy in the face. You know what a punch well, does. Oh. But in the beginning, when Kobe's just freaking out over nothing, like over everything, and then Luffy just hits him because he's being hysterical my favorite yeah we all hits, so, so i did like how luffy engineered uh kobe's um like he made it look like they weren't friends in front of the marines so that kobe could join the marines that was a clever touch i thought on his part it was right? so good yeah. you can see his little smile with his eyes shaded as he's walking away and then instigating the fight, letting him hit him, and then, you know, all that. And, oh, man, yes, I love that scene. It shows a lot of emotional maturity on exactly. Lucy's part to see yeah. what his friend needs in that moment and delivering. That's called That's character cool. progression right there. So That's he's gone from the kid favorite. who stabs himself in the face to the considerate friend. Now you know that Luffy is actually the smartest boy in the manga. Okay, so... So that's not true. Luffy is not smart <laughs> at all, but he is extremely loyal and a fantastic friend. Um, but Luffy has Luffy is very single minded. Um, He's very single minded. I, I love Luffy. I love Luffy. Now I realize this was like twenty something years ago, but uh, in those channel those chapter interludes, like Oda will answer questions, and even he's like, "Yeah, no, Luffy's an idiot." <laughs> I think it's coming from the source, but I was saying he's in his mind might've evolved since he wrote these, you know, back then. So. Exactly. Ryan. Niku meat. Mm -hmm. yeah, so on the bone here, but you know, Hey, I feel like it's a good introduction. I agree. You know? We'll have a lot more to talk about next time because there's gonna be a lot more characters that, uh, you know, that are kind of mainstays in the series. I can't, I can't so, wait to see Philip's opinion on Sir village. That should be fun. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm curious. So I anticipate what's going to happen right now is that Luffy has, he needs to get a crew, right? And um, right? I yeah, thought that Kobe was going to be part of the crew, not, um, but he did get one recruit and that's um, Zoro. Who so, is awesome. Who is cool. Who's ultra cool. And I like how he got convinced to join uh, Luffy. That was, that was nice. Um, convinced. Uh, Strong armed into bully, more or less. More or less. You will be on my crew, yeah. you have no choice. Is, that's what Luffy does. Luffy's, Luffy's like, like he's persistence and he just smiles the whole time and he's just like so naively persistent. I and, and you kind of have to admire that, you know. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who get stuff done, you know. So, but, so what uh, kind of other, what kind of other crewmates, what kind of other characters do you see surrounding Luffy? I mean, I I have to say that whoever comes is going to be has to be eccentric. <laughs> I mean, it seems like we're assembling a, a crew of eccentrics. Does uh, Zoro come off as eccentric to you? Slightly. I mean, the dude who who holds a sword in his teeth. I Fair. Mean, yeah, he's got green hair, Philip. I mean, that's that screams eccentric right there. Right? That's right. Totally eccentric. And he's got a his sash, which reminds me again of Zoro, is totally green as well. I didn't know that because you I mean read the it. gay blade Zoro. That one maybe, yeah. Um, so uh, the uh, I love in the in, in this introduction arc where not much is going on when Zoro has to get some has to he sees action. All these men come behind him and he blocks them all with his swords. Yeah. And then Luffy tells him to duck and he just instantly does it and you see the gum gum. Like the action is so for me as an introduction of what these boys are are capable of, them already working together as a team and trusting each other. And then that followed up with all right, sweet, where's our crew? 
who who do you have gathered? And he's like, here we are. <laughs> and what's, what's the power set in this one? Is it just gum gum pistol so far? Does Luffy do anything besides gum gum pistol in this one? Oh man, I don't actually yeah. pay attention to what so he punches the sea monster. Oh. And he, he does what Murphy describes. He does it with his leg. So yeah. I don't know if that's a different thing. But. That's I mean that's that's whip or he doesn't use axe till Arlong. So it could be whip or Gatling, but I think it's just pistol. Um, in the first the first thing. Yeah, oh, I, oh whip, I, somebody said whip and pistol in the comments. I actually so. didn't catch that. So Nino or Nino has a comment there that actually I didn't catch that. Okay, that's cool. Oh, people missed that Luffy was aiming for his eye when he stabbed himself so that he could wear an eye patch. <laughs> oh, God. So that's he can't stab himself funny. right. <laughs> yeah, that's even funnier. Yeah. And that's before he ate the gum gum thing too, isn't it? Right? I mean, when he stabbed himself. Yeah. Did you see him eat the gum gum fruit? No, I missed that. Was that in okay. the Manga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happening in the background when when the guy comes into the bar and he's harassing everybody yeah, right and there. Shanks is trying to defuse the, the situation. The bandit guy. Luffy, Luffy's in the background just chomping on the devil fruit. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll have to look back again. Yeah, it's it's. how late what are you? Is, we're, we're probably going to wrap up soon. <laughs> We've already pretty much talked about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is cool. Mike, this is just guys... one volume. I can find exactly every scene that you guys are talking about here. You know, <laughs> Mike. Mike, show Philip that thing that I just I just presented on my screen. Show Philip. Where did you present what on your screen? It's down there on the bottom. Let wow. it in. I'm trying. I'm trying to share my screen. There it is. Oh. Oh, oh my wow. God. <laughs> it's Zorro. Wait, wow. did you edit your hair or did you actually dye it? No, that's spray paint. What? Hairspray. Yeah, it's hairspray. It's actually Alan. pretty good. Boy. I'm impressed. Okay, that Alan, is a brilliant cosplay. My, my friend that introduced me to One Piece made that costume. Wow. What? We went to an anime. I it's feel totally thing. underqualified to be on to this, this day, panel. It's the only it. anime convention I've ever been to. <laughs> I have I have a Perona cosplay. I mean, he's got this. Murphy's got a mural in the background. I've got I've got hey I've got I've got the source material. That's it. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're ahead of me then. Wait. I have a hat. No, I have a hat. I have a shirt with the hat. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah. All right, you. I just wanted to show Philip. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. The book spell. It scared me. <laughs> That's why I love doing these live. It's great. They usually turn out way, way better than you ever could plan. Well, man, I'm just gonna start struggling to come up with anything to bring up now because I don't want to ruin anything for Philip. But I'm excited. Well, I do want to talk ruin. about the the scene where the mountain bandits come in and uh, Shanks is like. Yeah, okay. And he he breaks the he you can have the last bottle, you know. I think it was like a was he being sarcastic there or was it a genuine kind of a, oh, I think know, he was just trying to no, defuse the situation. To, I think the happy drunk doing violence. And he breaks it over his head, and uh, you know, his response is to just you know, clean it up, clean it up. And and uh, what he tells uh uh Luffy there is yeah, why don't you know don't get in a fight if you don't have to, you know, um just laugh it off. Right. Um, and I don't feel like Luffy has learned that yet because he he his response to um, uh, what's the Kobe to Kobe is, you know, man up, you know, you got to defend if somebody insults you. You got to you got to hit him in the face, you know, which is what he does with Alvita. That was, by the way, that was a pretty hysterical scene when um, she's demanding that Kobe say once again that she is the most beautiful you know uh, person on the planet and, and Luffy just blurts out what that ugly old hag or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it <laughs> it's a great scene yeah yeah I think... I like, I... sorry go ahead no you go ahead I just I love how um just like the the mountain bandit scene where everything's fine and then the band and then it just turns violent very quickly uh this manga does that a lot where it goes from being lighthearted and you know crew's hanging out and luffy is eating and zoro's getting lost and then all of a sudden something happens and it just like shifts modes very quickly and it becomes really serious and i like what you're saying about um luffy Luffy's solution is to be a tough pirate and to punch things. And so it is interesting when that doesn't work and, you know, like, oh, I punched it and what, what? And so it's, it's, it's just interesting to see him grow as a character because um, he just has a very, very, like, like I said, very single-minded focus um, and is also just socially inept. Like when he's like, what? Yeah. 
that ugly old lady. I, <laughs> I love it. So many moments are from Luffy and then Zoro and someone he argues with all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I love that about him. I mean, and, and he, he, I don't know, do people talk about this or not? Because um, Luffy, Luffy does remind me of somebody uh, in, in a very endearing way uh, of somebody on the spectrum. Uh, you know, you mentioned those qualities. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, he's probably on the spectrum. You know, uh, I don't know if that's, I, I bet you a lot of people find him endearing because of that. But. I think that's why I, I, I uh, identify with Luffy so much. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. That's it. You know, I've never considered him, him from that perspective, but now that I think about it, he's very emotionally intelligent, but he just doesn't always pick up on every cue. And he's always like, what's on my mind. That's out my mouth. Yeah. 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 Sorry. My kids are being my kids right now. Sorry. It's okay. Uh oh. Not the good part about doing these lives. Well, I'm glad that Philip liked it. Like, I know it seemed like I wasn't, but I am glad that Philip liked it. I'll mirror, I didn't even consider the wooden because I said, I, I don't think I I've seen Philip not like anything before. I totally, but, I, but, I totally but had me shook before, before he joined the call. I was like, oh, no. I Yeah, I expected you not to like it. I didn't think yeah. you would like it. I thought it was really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. I, I mean, I thought you'd find nice things to say. But yeah. No, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was fun. It reminded me, like I said in the beginning, it reminded me of reading Asterix when I was younger and, and just laughing and enjoying it. Um, so I can confidently read... say I have read nothing like this in my life. Nothing. Wow. It, you can't say this, you know, with all our fantasy books, Philip, we can always be like, oh, you know, this reminds me of this, makes me think of that. Oh, this is kind of like this one. I can't think of anything I've ever you seen. You don't think like Discworld that. is at least in the realm? Another reason I like, that. I like it. Is I love the I love the difference in the devil fruits. Like the devil yeah. fruits are what kept me here because the next thing, oh dang, what's their power gonna be? And this is why this is why the freaking Zoan obsession is irritating me. Oh, this person can turn into an animal. I don't care. What if we have an awesome power like spewing blood, the blood blood fruit? What about no? That? Yes. No. Oh, look, someone's gonna turn into Quetzalcoatl. Who gives a crap? Who cares? Oh, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. You two please, let's Alan and I, we need to saying. shout at each other for a little while. I'm saying that the devil fruit, because growing up, like I love JRPGs. Like you go from you go from the fire level to the ice level to like the level in the clouds or whatever. And all these people have different, different, you know, different kinds of magic and everything. So I love the fact that Luffy has the 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 gomu gomu no me or whatever. And then other people have uh, Alvita's got that stupid fruit that makes her pretty, whatever. But like each fruit, I'm like, yes, what can this fruit do? I love that, and that's why I keep watching. There has been a glut of Zoan, which are fruits that turn people into animals. Like there's been a glut of that recently, and I don't care. I want cool fruits like rubber or someone turning into blood or maybe a snot snot fruit or like a cloud cloud. You've gotten fruit. that, you want, Alan. You want gross fruits. It's supposed to no, I just, <laughs> no, I just want something that isn't an animal. It can be the dookie dookie fruit for all I care, as long as it's not a freaking animal. Blood blood, snot snot, dookie dookie. Yeah, he was gross. We've yeah. gotten blood blood. Who's blood yeah. blood? Who's the, blood blood? I mean, not blood blood, sorry. I mean, snot snot. We've gotten snot snot. Oh, no, Dolphy, Dolphy, nah, nah. Your team. He's on your team. I don't want him on my team. I hate Shucks him. for you. No, but I feel like this is going to happen a lot where both of you and I are going to be like, <laughs> Murphy, yes, your name works perfectly. Murphy, Murphy, nah, 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 Murphy, oh, nah. Do his laugh, do his laugh. What is, I forgot what his laugh is. Hold on. It's like, go, go. <laughs> Murphy, Murphy, nah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Philip, what do you think of the art style? Are you into it? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, you guys are killing me. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, the guys, artist, guys, how is the fact that crap turns into animals a spoiler? Get out of here with that nonsense! Oh my gosh, look at any freaking thing and you see a bloody reindeer. Oh my gosh, get out of here! That's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. Oh my gosh, go back to your caves. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my okay. face is hurting. Stop. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to follow that up like at all. All right. Yeah. Do you like well, the art? We'll be you back. Know, I was concerned. I was concerned because I've said one of the things that's kind of kept me away from anime and manga is the ridiculous animations, like the, you know, the eyes are gone, the mouth is this big and stuff. But I will say every time they get mad, their teeth turn to shark teeth. I laugh every single time, Love every it. single time. In fact, we we're watching, I'm watching Avatar Last Airbender for the first time. And I'm upset that like when they get mad, you know, every time Sokka's like, like oh my God. I'm like, why don't they have sharp teeth? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's just like, it's like ingrained into my mind now that when someone's mad, they've got, they're sharp not teeth. really mad until the sharp teeth come. Yeah. Yeah. That's so right. I, I, actually, I actually love it. So I, I, again, I said, as long as I'm having a good time, I can, I can look past stuff like that. But I, I'm going to say, I think that maybe I just hadn't seen the right thing before, you know, I hadn't seen the right kind of stuff before. So if I'm enjoying the characters, like I am, especially where I'm at now, you know, I'm really attached to some of these characters, and yeah, I'll, I'll put up with some goofy animations for sure. What Mike doesn't like about anime and manga is what you, what you like? one of the reasons that I love it. Like, I yeah. love over exaggerated, like facial expression, like the shark teeth. Absolutely, the big, huh. the huge mouth, the someone gets hit, an enormous bump on top of a bump, on top of a bump, on top of a bump. Of a bump. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it every time. I love that uh, you haven't met him yet, Philip. My favorite character in the series at this point is Sanji. And I just love that every single animation of him where he's got uh, hearts for eyeballs, I, I die. I die every single time. Nami, do one. Oh, Nami. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. So what do I, if, if I want to watch any of this, do I should I watch the live action thing that came out recently or do I watch uh, you, what, this is This is the first episode, Phil. That's, that's it. Okay. You've you seen the first episode. It actually actually moves Nami up a little bit in the in It's the three episodes show. covered in the first seven he's chapters. Saying, he's saying, of the anime, it's, he's saying it's the live action. It's one episode. It's oh, I'm action. sorry. Yeah, I yeah, wouldn't recommend action. doing the live action I, yet. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't watch the anime. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's way too loud for me. I, I turn into my yeah. parents immediately. It's just so loud. And again, that's just the English dub. I will say that because the kid who voices Luffy in English apparently can't speak his dialogue. He has to scream his dialogue. That's because it's not, it's, it's not a kid. Like it's, it's a woman and they always do this in JRPGs. If they get, they get a, they get a grown woman to lower her voice like this. And so in order to do it, you've got to force it out. And it's every single JRPG <laughs> thing because they can't get, they can't get a young person to do it because the person will age out uh, by the you know by the time the, the the show's over. That's why I love the Japanese one because the Japanese voice actor is like a sixty something year old lady, and she's so good. Now so we are good. playing One Piece Odyssey on Xbox right now, and it only has the Japanese voice cast with subtitles. And I noticed that but I was like, that's not quite what I imagined about Luffy's voice, but I was like. I like it better than what you've been watching. One hundred percent, one hundred percent agree. Yeah. I don't know, Philip. Are, uh, are you are you big in anime, Philip? I didn't know you. No, I have never Philip. watched once. He refuses. He refuses. Except for what Alan made me watch when we were doing. I sent you a... That's because it, that's because it was moving and touching, Philip. I'm sorry, I shared something special with you. It was really good. Did you not like what he shared? No, it was it was great. He's being professorial great. and pretentious. <laughs> so I, I haven't watched the anime either, other than just a couple of really great scenes. So this is my first time watching through the anime. I watched the first three episodes to prepare for this. Okay. And what'd you think? It's good. I think I will notice that the uh, the animation gets better because like when my first my kid first started watching, I watched a little bit with him, and I think now he's just watching like the movies, which I think he said are just parts of the anime. They just compiled them into like a movie. They did that. Anyways, like, the animation looks way better later on. So the animation gets better. Same right for there. the art style. Yeah, art, style art style improves style. a lot. Mugiwara. Oh, well, I like the art actually. It was fun. It was part of the. the yeah, going from something like Berserk and Vinland Saga, which is like where you can tell that the artist spent like eight hours on like a talon. Yeah. This is just kind of feels good. It feels refreshing. It feels like, you know, you're eating some. some, some oh, yeah. Berserk is so cluttered. Yeah. I mean, I love it. He's, he's an amazing, Muir was an amazing artist, but I was like, sometimes it's like, I feel like I'm not doing your, your, your work justice. If I flip the pages fast, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. study every single inch of every panel or this, I'm just like, yeah, I can, I can fly through these really, really quick. There's certain scenes that I think <clears throat> the very simple 
blank pages yeah. lend to the, the one I'm getting a hat is like that. And that's why my yeah, favorite, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Good call. Um, I, where like the simplicity of it adds to the scene. And that's one thing that I as as the series progresses, um, the art style gets, you know, there's more to it. It grows. But that's one thing that I really, really miss is those blank panels, but one or two things. Mm -hmm. does, it, does he does he stop doing that after a while? Uh, it just, you know, it just evolves. I don't want to. Like, you'll see. Can I respond to Kyle real quick? Yeah, <clears throat> do it. Which part? My grandfather's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. I've collected all five special cards, all five pieces of the puzzle, the unstoppable Exodia. Impossible. Sorry. You did. You... Done. Oh. That was it. Okay. I just had to respond to Kyle. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that was, matter. Yeah. That was Mr. Kyle. He was he was talking about something in the chat, and so I was I was giving him some. Uh... I'm glad which you put arc, it. Which arc is next? I know it's obviously we're dealing with Nami, but what's next? Which should be Marathi, and um, I love that. Oh, I love that panel. No, Orange. I thought Orange Town was next. Yeah, because it's buggy, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, it's buggy. Uh oh. Buggy's Who's my the real favorite. fan. <laughs> did you say Bubby? Did you say Buggy's your favorite? Did you say that? Is that so Tanji's my favorite, but Buggy's my favorite bad no, guy. Oh, Buggy sucks. Oh, I love Buggy. Uh -oh. I said, if love and buggy's wrong, I don't want to be right, dude. That's right. Car, he can turn himself into a car. That's freaking Team awesome. Team buggy. Yeah. Bug Murphy, why? Like, okay. So what's good about buggy? I'll send you chop a boxer later. Chop chop fruit's awesome. It's awesome. No, the hey, chop chop fruit is stupid. No, I'm gonna no. meet buggy awesome. in the next in next, our next, the, next the next chapter. You'll meet buggy. Okay. I think we, we will we will settle the matter of whether buggy is cool or you not. You be the tiebreaker. You're gonna like it because you can't just you can't just do what I want you to do. So you're just gonna like it <laughs> just just to make it difficult. I might be on your side. No, you're not. You're gonna be like you know what? I really like what buggy represents i think the thematic content that oda was going for with the fact that buggy can split up with his chop chop fruit is how we're all segmented we all our personalities are all right all split into different sections where no one is one thing and sometimes it gets rearranged and you act like a clown there you go it's all a giant like metaphor it. it's all are you going metaphor. to project a ton of depth onto the series who i bet me? Yes, you're going to take the most nonsense dumb scenes and you're going to be like, here's the thematic depth. And then the really deep scenes, you'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that fight, Philip, that fight. And you're going to be like, there was a fight? I'll be like, Philip, <laughs> like three volumes. Oh, yeah, I just flipped to the end to see who won. No. That Wait, you guys don't do that. Oh, Philip, Philip, you like that person Philip. on Twitter that was saying they skip prologues? Is that, you, <laughs> oh, that right now? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I see all kinds of takes. Like I skip, Alan, you don't just fast I skip fight anime? scenes. I skip sex scenes. Like, do you fucking read? I don't understand what you're doing anymore. <laughs> the only thing I skip I is a recap at the beginning. Because I just watched the previous episode. I don't need a recap. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. when you're binge watching something, I don't. I don't need to see previously on Avatar. I just finished it. All right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I still Ooh, can't believe Ellen doesn't like Buggy, but I, I I guess I'm really not that surprised. I mean, Buggy, it's not he, Buggy. Buggy, you're acting like he's crop or something. But no, I don't like this stupid useless, useless. From Buggy's Alaska. useless. Uso, useless. I like cool people. Smoker. Alan Trump, hates crop. Toro. What? I do hate crop. Crop. Treble. Useless. Treble is your is crap on my team. Thank can't you. do it. You know, my dog has like a rawhide bone. It looks like a big cigar. And every time he picks it up, kids just start laughing and call him smoker. It's like we need to get two of them. Need to get two of them. Yeah. I love smoke. So yeah, for me, this bond with my kids over this has just been a blast. It's, it really has. Because I really do feel like it's it's one of those things that it doesn't really matter about what age you are. I think there's going to be something in there for everybody. And that's what that's what Murphy was saying about like my experience. I, I'm so bonded with the show because my friends and I, like we watched like 800 episodes. We started mm -hmm. at the beginning and we would gather in my living room and we would watch it, me and two other friends. And we'd watch, you know, a dozen episodes at a time, sometimes three. And we'd go and it's back before we had more responsibilities. And we would just watch the thing and be like, dude, that guy's your team. Oh, that guy sucks. He's on your team. And be like, hey, look, it's you. Look at you. When you see a big fat guy, you're like, hey, it's you. Look, it's you. <laughs> hey, your mom, your mom. I didn't know your mom was in this making. And it's just so much fun. Like, to bond over that. And when big things happen where we're like, no, 
So it was That's what so we used to do during the uh, Monday Night Wars with WCW, WWF. Exactly, like exactly. Yeah, so it was. I watched those with my friends in high school too. Yeah. So it was just like a. It was like a. a like a, a. It was a social experience. Um, for me, it wasn't something that I did in. Um, in solitary. So. Dude, so Murphy, everybody guess. wants to give you this so bad. It's too late. Caribou's already on Alan's team. I can't mm-hmm. have him. Caribou's not on my team. Caribou's oh. your team. You said it in a video. You said in a video he was on your oh, team. There's evidence. Murphy, do not do not quote my own videos back at me. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> She's right. No, someone, one of my friends put Caribou on my team. You're right. You're right. But this is why I'm friends with you, so that I cannot claim Caribou. Worst. One of the worst. There it characters. is. There it is. All right, it was probably too early for me to say, hey, Philip, what prediction do you have for what will happen next? Hey, Philip, what predictions early. do you have? <laughs> It's not. (laughs) I mean, I gave a couple already. I said for the whole series that the treasure is going to be of no monetary value. (laughs) What's a? Please don't stab yourself in the face, Alan. I want a patch eye like a pirate. Oh no! No 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 no! no. (laughs) And uh, um, there's going to be a bunch of new crew members. How's that for a prediction? I think that's a pretty safe bet. Pretty safe, yeah. Kind and they're going to be it's kind of hard to run a pirate crew with just two people. I you think. can't just right. say the things that the character said. I'm going to get more pirate crew <laughs> members. I think they'll get um, more pirate crew members. I don't feel like this is a series that is very predictable. Okay, um, I, I already said Kobe and uh, Luffy are going to have an encounter when they're older, uh, where they're going to be on the other side, uh, and they're going to have to. What? Sorry, nothing. Oh. And I just, she's saying no, and Alan's going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I just um, assigned Murphy the worst character in the entire. Anime. Hateful, hateful. Oh, oh, and the little girl who made the rice balls for Zoro is going to come back somehow or other. Now you have read too many too many fantasy books, I think. Now, yeah. <laughs> 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 she's she's gonna be the love interest for uh, something else that I feel like was set up really well in here and it's something they continue to do is you you feel like every main character has like a goal. I'm gonna be the king of the pirates, I'm gonna be the best swordsman in the world. I feel like every character has like that one like mission statement. I love that. I do love that. Each character their agency. I really do think he just does a great job on his character work. And you wouldn't think you go into something like this, think oh, this is gonna be just ridiculous. This is, like you said, Phil, looking at it from the outside, you're like Okay, that looks a little silly. You you don't expect the depth that it has. It's kind of amazing. I mean, because even you just show some of this art, and they're just like, "What are you talking about? There ain't nothing in there except just like over the top ridiculousness for six year olds." And it's just like, no, it's it's got a lot of depth in it. So, oh my gosh! Me, I just remember me. Django. Oh, Django the uh, the uh, the the hypnotizer guy. <laughs> I like Django. Uh, the yeah, they didn't even put him on a Netflix show. Yeah. So wait, yeah, and so Alan him. and Murphy have all these people on their team. Who does Mike have, and who do I have? You have Helmeppo and Kobe. I gave you. Were, I gave you were given before we started. Have we I given have, Mike anyone? No, wait, Mike could, gets Mike gets Buggy's lion, uh, lion guy that has. Uh-huh. Like, you, you did give Mike Alvita. I'll be yes, part. Mike has Alvita. Al- Alvita yeah, yeah. Everybody needs a little. Wait, how come I get the like the doofus nerdy guys? That's Everybody's so getting bad characters. That's the point. You, you we're don't not assign people good characters. Yeah, we're not trying to help each other. We're trying to hurt each other. Correct. Oh, I thought you were my friends. No, 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 no. no. We are your friends. That's why we're trying to give you horrible people on your team. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. So, okay. <laughs> so, if you guys are still there, the plan is is that we're going to kind of rotate this as we go around the arcs. I don't know who has next. Philip, who has the next? Who has the next episode? Who's Whoever. Uh, who wants the next episode? Murphy? I'll do you do it. Or, or, uh, well, what, what, what arc is that going to be? Can we go through at least Barati? <gasps> sure. Uh, yeah. Baratier, I believe, is the proper way to say it. Wow. Oh! People can people can sit on it and rotate, Fonzie. Like, <laughs> That's me with like, I was like, dude, I am not calling him Smaug. I've been calling it Smog since I was a kid. Now the movie comes I, out and the dragon's name is Smaug. So, anytime, anytime someone jumps on someone's jock strap in an anime thing where someone mispronounces mispronounces something, it's like I have to. I make caveats at the beginning. Say, hey, I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna pronounce it however I want to. You know what? So, if Alan, I, if we go if, if we go through Baratier, which is three arcs away, 
then that'll be through episode 30 through chapter 68. So that would be a lot to cover. A lot. Is That's it? A lot. Oh, we've got, we have Orangetown and then Surat Village. So That's I fine. We can put Puro and Usopp on my channel. That's fine. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. That's fine. It'll be good for your blood pressure. Yeah, we'll just we can just do Buggy and and Usopp the two the two freaking arcs with two characters I hate the worst. We'll put them on mine. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Yes, <laughs> I love Kuro. I love Kuro for the long. I can't find my. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that we, we needed props and stuff for this. I feel bad now. I should have at least like wore my one piece shirt or something. I don't know. I hope he's not gone back for his swords. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> You went all the way there for oh, the, the glass. Alan, 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 I hate him. I, I love hate Oro. him. You're supposed to. He's the worst. Freaking go play Jenga with Usopp then. No, I'm going to go hang out with Buggy. You, you enjoy your blast. little convoluted whatever. Okay. <laughs> what is so this? this? You'll see. You'll see. Oh, you'll, you'll see. see. You'll see. You're okay. So, okay, so you want to do the two? You want to do Orange Town and Start Village together next time on Alan's channel? That never, that thing yes. Makes, Let's yeah. do it. Alan's right, channel in one week? Yeah, that's well, good. Yeah. You think you can read that fast, Philip? I don't know. You, got, to, guys, you sure you don't have like 900 other books you got to read at the same time wait, and 14 live streams to be on? Has, have y'all talked to like a soothsayer that's told y'all that y'all are, are going to die in six months? Like, where's the fire? Well, you're having a baby soon. Yeah. So we got to get to it if we're going to host this on your done. channel. Yeah. We got to beat the kid. <laughs> Tell Christina. Sorry, only dogs can hear you now, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> so if we. Hey, we're reading 600 pages. Can we do it tomorrow? Like what? Wait, 600 pages? No. If we do, if we do the two arcs, that'll take us through chapter 41 through episode oh, 18. That's, that's that's not bad, man. I've, I've read through, I've read through Surf Village like in the first. Alan days. takes his time with his manga. Yeah, okay. That's not I your name. You Philip takes his time with his manga. I'm not going back again. I've already watched Murphy, it. don't go no, back. No, 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 no. I, I called, I called, both of my, I called my kid today. I called him the other kid's name, and then I called him the dog's name before I actually called him by his name. Who did you call me? Who was me? I don't. I just I just called Philip you. I've just. It, okay. When you're a parent, you'll understand. That's true. You're welcome, Philip. Like, Philip is very flattered by that. Yeah. yeah. Philip only wishes he had my je ne sais quoi. If we go through, if we go through chapter forty-one, do you want to do that in one week, or what? What do you want to do? That's so fine. Like, I don't care. Yeah, y'all tell me when to be there. I'll be there. I'll work it out. Forty-one. Next week. Two weeks. Next week is fine. Y'all just gotta give me a minute. Like, I think y'all think that like every night I have is like wide open. I have a popular social so guys platform. subscribe to Alan and he'll let you guys know when it's coming because he makes his, his, his announcements for his live streams a lot earlier than I do. I usually do like 24 hours. He'll put like his new year's one up in like January. It's great. That's only the new year's one. Most live streams come up like 20 minutes before they go. They go live. <laughs> I am so horrible at scheduling things. That's fine. We can do it next week at some. Point. But what about Philip? Can you do it next week? Is that, reasonable to oh, read yeah, whenever you can yes. 35 chapters in a week oh. stop it with your showing off your <laughs> come on murphy get out of here with that wow you're a bloody magician <laughs> all right we'll see you next week chat next week. on Alan's channel. Channel. Alexandria. thank you guys <laughs> make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification